it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Amazon beauty favorites. So these are things that I kind of like to have in my self-care arsenal, if you will. These items are for pampering or some of them are skincare. Some of them are organizational because I am a type A bitch and I like my stuff to be organized. But in addition to all these things being great things to have for yourself, these also make fantastic gifts. The most expensive item on here is just over a hundred bucks, which I don't even think is that bad considering what it is. Wait till we get to that one. But all of these products I have been using for a very long time. The most recent one I did get in October, everything else has been like years. So these are my tried and true products that I have been using for so long and I hope you love them. Two quick things. Number one, I did mention this in my last video, but I do have a new camera and a new lens and a new microphone setup, a new lighting setup. So please bear with me if things are changing a little bit from video to video. I am learning as I go along. I am not so much of a technophile, so I'm really just playing around and seeing what works. So thank you guys so much for your patience and thank you for everyone who kind of congratulated me in the last video. That was very sweet of you. I'm really, really happy that I upgraded. I hope you guys notice a difference and I'm just, I'm just really excited about all of it. And for number two, we, we can't start the video yet because it's time to light the cat candle. <laughs> this cat candle has a metal cat skeleton inside. I only light it when I'm filming. I got this for the holidays last year, not this one. I had another one that burned all the way down, but this is a fairly new one. But it's been like a year of a cat candle, you guys. Oh my God, happy anniversary. You can kind of see his little skeleton inside. You see his little eyeballs and there's actually like a little hole here. So the whole head is very close to falling off, which I think is exhilarating. But I only like this when I'm filming so we can watch the magic together as the wax melts off and we're just left with a little baby cat skeleton. And there we are, the cat is on fire, we can officially start. All right, let's get into this list. For the very first item I wanna talk about, I guess it's not really a beauty item, but it sort of is for me. So when I'm putting on makeup or when I'm indulging in self-care, when I'm taking a bath, when I'm doing a face mask, when I'm meditating, all of that kind of self-care stuff, I light candles. I have a pretty strong candle obsession. It's a problem, I know. But this has been kind of a little bit of a game changer for me. So I just used it, but this is a rechargeable lighter. So you're not constantly throwing away plastic lighters. You're not constantly like burning through lighter fluid. I really, really like this. It's really impressive. Plus, it's kind of like a little baby taser. It's very exciting. Really though, I have been trying to be a little more sustainable in little areas where I can. So I really like the idea of this. I like the idea that I'm not throwing away a bunch of plastic every time. And this has just been amazing. A charge lasts for so long too. So I do consider this to be self-care. I, I don't know why fire would be self-care, but it is for me. Don't judge me. Next, let's chat about the thing I probably hate talking about more than anything else in this world. And that's, that's feet. I do not like feet. I have the opposite of a foot fetish, some would say. And also I've talked about this on my channel before. So my feet are very, very dry. This is year round. This is me drinking 10 gallons of water a day. My feet are always, always dry unless I really take care of them. So I have found two things that really help me take care of my feet. So if you have dry feet, this, this is for you. First, these are technically called pedicure socks, okay? They're open at the ankle, but also at the toes. The greatest part though is in the heel, they have this kind of gel-like consistency. So normally if you're putting moisturizer on your feet and then you put socks on, a lot of the moisturizer is gonna seep into that cotton and that's where it's gonna soak in instead of into your skin. The gel that's on these heels prevents that from happening. Instead of it soaking into the socks, it allows it to really soak into your skin. So what I like to do is I will soak my feet at night. I will slather my feet with lotion, moisturizer, sometimes even straight petroleum jelly. Don't judge, it's amazing. And then I will put these on and go to sleep. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Linda, only actual demons sleep with socks on and you don't seem like a demon. Thanks guys. I despise sleeping with socks on, but I can sleep with these because my toes are out. So I don't feel like I'm being suffocated or anything like that. I absolutely adore these. Plus they're really inexpensive and they come in a pack of three. So I think that anybody, anybody should keep these in their arsenal, dry feet or not, because this will just allow you to pamper yourself. 
For this next item, I'm actually curious to see if any of you are here from the video that I did on this because somehow it is my most popular video on YouTube and it's one showing off my disgusting peeling feet because because this is this is baby foot. I have been using this for years now. What this is is an actual foot peel. So you soak your feet and then you put on these little booties. The booties are filled with some sort of serum or moisturizer, something like that, that when you take them off and then you rinse your feet, over the next seven to 10 days, the skin on your feet will peel. I'm talking peeling off in full sheets, looking like a sunburn. And when it is done, you are left with the softest feet you have ever had. Your feet will literally be baby soft. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me that when I do this, do my feet get sensitive? I personally don't experience any sensitivity, even though an actual layer of your flesh is coming off. Maybe you will, I don't know, I can't really speak to that, but I personally never have. I have used this, I, I can't even count how many times. I use this about three times a year. I personally love the lavender scented one because I don't know, it just adds a little something something, but this is fantastic. Now I will say there are a lot of brands doing this right now where they will sell you a foot peel in like a little plastic package for $2 or something. I've tried a bunch of those. None of those have worked the way this has. This is the OG and it is the best seller for a reason. Yes, it is pricier than those $3 ones for a reason. This actually works. This will make your feet look like you've gotten a pedicure for so long and the results last a long time, especially if you keep up with it. Moisturize your feet, baby your feet a little bit, but I absolutely love this. Next, let's talk about headaches. <laughs> If you ever get headaches, which I do from time to time, I'm not a migraine sufferer or anything like that, just your average headache, you know that there are certain things that soothe you, certain things that make you feel better. For me, that is pressure in certain spots, like right around here, and also blocking out all light. So this eye mask has been a lifesaver for me. It is not just a regular eye mask, it is a weighted eye mask. It's basically like a bean bag, although you can take the bean bag out and you can wash this outer layer, but because it's weighted, when you put it on your face, it sinks in to the contours of your face, which A, blocks out all light, including that annoying light that sometimes comes in here with regular eye masks, but it also puts like a gentle amount of pressure all around my eyes and on my eyelids, which for me, it seems weird that pressure would help relieve a headache, but for me it does, because usually when I get a headache, it is sinus pressure. So this really helps with that. I know that eye masks are a dime a dozen, I swear by this one. Also, I have a very little head and this is completely adjustable with Velcro. So I really love that about it. Just, I don't know. I think this also makes a really good stocking stuffer. Still talking about headaches. I promise I don't get them that often. It's just during allergy season, it goes a little bit crazy. This is something I would have never bought for myself, but my husband bought it for me one year. It was an Amazon lightning deal and he put it in my stocking. This is an ice roller. So you can take off this part and keep this in your freezer. And then what you do is you just pop it right back on and you use it to just roll out your face. Now, I love this, especially for under eye puffiness. Oh my God, it feels so good. And if you gently just continue to roll outwards, it will release some of that puffiness. And also this is great for lymphatic drainage, right? It's gonna drain your lymph nodes a bit because you're rolling them out, but it just reduces any face puffiness. So if I wake up and I know I got a film that morning and I'm looking similar to the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, I reach for this instantly. Also, if you have headaches, if you go right between your eyes here and you press up, I can't even tell you. I, this, I use this, I'd say twice to three times a week. Now, maybe that's just for beauty purposes or headache or whatever it might be for. I use this so often and I've bought this for so many gifts and every time I do, someone is like, this is the tool I never knew that I needed, but now I'm obsessed. Speaking of lymphatic drainage, words I never thought I'd say on my channel. This is a gua sha tool and I absolutely adore this. Now, obviously this has been around for a very long time. We're talking centuries, but I adore this for face massage. Now you can also use this in different areas of your body. I would suggest watching YouTube videos on how to do this. I'm gonna link the one down below that I use for facial massage, but you just wanna be careful. I know a lot of people like to use this on the back of their neck, right by their spine, which is supposed to be amazing for, but still you just wanna be careful with that. But what you do is you hold areas of your skin because you don't want it to pull. You put on your oil or your serums and you just kind of drag this in certain ways several times. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna release those lymph nodes and just drain all of that out. 
I absolutely adore this, especially for right here where your cheekbone is. This little area is really great for really getting in there and releasing a lot of puffiness. I also really love it for right here on my forehead. Ugh, if you are a sinus person, if you have any kind of sinus allergies, holy crap, you're gonna love this. But another benefit, the first time I tried it, I decided to just do half of my face at first. It was snatched. It looked like I had an actual facelift on just half of my face. It was incredible. Now, did that last? No, it didn't last that long. It really didn't. But I knew that it was doing something. You could visually see a difference. Like, if you guys would be interested in seeing a video on that and just watching me do half my face, let me know, because it was so much fun to see. But I feel like this is something really good to have, like I said, in your self-care arsenal. It's really good for taking your time with your skincare, because I don't know about you, but a lot of times I just slap it on and go but I really like that this makes me slow down and spend time on myself. So as I mentioned earlier, in the beginning of this year, I decided that I kind of wanted to try to be a little more sustainable than I have been being. So as I mentioned earlier, in the beginning of this year, I decided that I kind of wanted to try to be a little more sustainable than I have been being. Um, I noticed that I was using a whole lot of cotton rounds and cotton pads and cotton balls and makeup wipes and things like that. And I wanted to try to at least take that down a notch. And I would say that in the last year, I have taken down my consumption of all that by about 75%, and it is because of these. So these are bamboo cotton rounds. It comes in a big pack, and it also comes with this little bag. And these are just so incredibly soft. I love using these for applying my toner, for taking off face masks, for makeup remover with my cellar water. I just adore these, and they are so, so useful, and they're just, they're so easy to use that even if you get like black eyeliner on here or something like that, it washes out. Like you put it in this little bag, sort of like a lingerie bag, and then you just drop this right in your washer and dryer and they come out beautifully soft and stain free. Now I've had a few times where like I've wiped off a liquid lipstick and I'll stain will be left behind. I'll soak the whole bunch of these in OxyClean for like a few hours some Sunday. I'll just throw them in a container. They come out good as new. So I really, really love these. And if you're looking for a way to be a little more sustainable, I highly recommend getting something like this. Now I do still use cotton rounds and stuff like that from time to time. Like when I was traveling and traveling, travel. Stop it, Linda. When I'm traveling, I do prefer to take disposable ones with me just because I don't wanna put dirty wipes back into my bag or something like that. But I just, I really love these. I think these make a great gift for anyone too. If you have a friend who's a little bit crunchy, a little bit hippie, they will really appreciate this. All right, just a few more things. This, oh gosh, I just wanna like clutch this to my heart and sing to it a little bit. So last year I went to Toronto and I ran out of hand cream and my hands get very dry, especially around my cuticles and like in the, in between my fingers. So I went into a gift shop and I was just looking for hand cream and I stumbled across this one. So this is the Pre de Provence 20% Shea Butter Hand Cream. This is very similar to like L'Occitane, but L'Occitane is not cruelty free. These guys are. I have gone through easily four or five tubes of this at this point, and this is never not in my purse. I will always have a tube of this in my purse. Like this one is fairly new and I'm already like starting to go through it, which makes me like, I need more. It really sinks into your hands and does not leave them feeling greasy and a little bit goes a very long way. So I've been buying this on Amazon, obviously, as it's on this list. It has a beautiful smell to it. I think that this makes a great gift and stocking stuffer for anyone, but if you have dry hands, I would strongly suggest trying this because I absolutely love it. It is the greatest hand cream of all time. I'm saying it, I'm giving it the award, I'm presenting it. It's, it's going to this. All right, for this next one, I talked in the beginning about organization. This has been a game changer for me. So I have the Alex drawers from Ikea and everything was just kind of thrown into them. So I got a bug up my butt at one point and I ran to the container store. I say I ran, it's an hour and a half away from me. So I drove for a very long time. I listened to a whole lot of podcasts, but I drove to the container store and I purchased three of these. So these are little acrylic containers that are just clear acrylic, really good quality, but I really liked the way that they were able to help me separate my products. Like this is just bronzers and you know a powder because I don't use much powder, but still this 
really helped me to organize my drawers and also they were low enough that they don't take up a whole lot of space. So once I figured out that I loved those, I went back to the container store to get more and they were sold out. I was pretty bummed because like I said, I drove an hour and a half to get there, but I digress. So when I came home, I decided like, why don't I just look on Amazon and see if I can find the same product, like same size or whatever. And um, yeah, yeah, I found the same exact thing. So this is the one from Container Store. This is the one from Amazon. Like guys, it's the, it's the same thing. Oh wait, they aren't the same because the ones from Container Store are like seven bucks a piece. This was like $15 for a pack of eight. I still have extras. I love these. They are still high quality clear acrylic that are just sturdy. They're not going anywhere. The same exact dimensions, like two a T exact dimensions. These have been amazing. So I've been able to organize all of my Alex drawers and they look smashing. For this last item, it is way too heavy and big for me to hold up on camera. That's what she said. But I got a new makeup mirror in October. My husband bought this for me as a birthday gift and I've fallen completely in love with it. So this is the Hansong mirror. It is so beautiful and it is just one of those light up mirrors that it has three buttons on it. So it has an on off button. It has a button that lets you select kind of the temperature of lighting, whether you want indoor or daylight lighting, whatever you would like. The third button lets you dim or raise the lights. It even has a USB port on it. And I have a small vanity, okay? And this fits on it beautifully. It doesn't take up too much space but it really like elevates the look of everything, you know? It is just so beautiful and it's really classy looking and I don't know, it just, it makes my space feel a little more bougie. So I feel like if you're looking to upgrade your vanity, a mirror is such a good place to do it. I had for years this really crappy mirror that I got at Goodwill and I think I got it for $2 and it worked out just fine, but it was time for mama to upgrade. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, please leave in the comments down below if you have found any really good Amazon beauty purchases. I am always in the mood to shop, so I would love to know what you recommend. Also, if you are new here, I would love if you'd subscribe and become a part of the Rockstar fam. I do put out new videos every single week, and hopefully in 2021, there's going to be even more than that. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, forever and evermore, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart. And I hope you're having a happy holiday season so far. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.